With April 8th's total solar eclipse on the way, I want you to sound like an expert to your friends that you're watching it with. So let's start off by talking about what's actually happening. Obviously, the moon is passing between the sun and earth. You likely already knew that. You likely also know that everyone doesn't get a chance to see the total solar eclipse. That is reserved for people in a very distinct path. That distinct path of totality happens because of how the moon casts its shadow towards earth, and you can even see this shadow from space. This shadow has two parts, the umbra and the penumbra. For the total solar eclipse, the umbra is the part of the shadow you want to be located in. This is the dark inner shadow the moon is casting towards Earth. Everyone in the shadow can see the total solar eclipse because this is where the sun is completely blocked. The penumbra is the lighter outer shadow cast by the moon toward Earth. This is where you can see a partial eclipse. This encompasses a much larger area because the penumbra gets larger as it moves away from the sun towards Earth, while the umbra gets smaller. Total solar eclipses are rare, and there's a reason for that. According to the National Weather Service, a solar eclipse only happens during the new moon phase. Also, the moon's orbit is tilted five degrees from Earth's orbit as they travel around the sun. This means at times from Earth, it appears that the moon is passing above or below the sun when it's passing between the Earth and sun. Putting this all together, you need to time out a new moon phase with the moon being in the correct orientation to pull off a total solar eclipse. How about this? There's more than one type of solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse is going to happen April 8th. This is when the moon completely blocks out the sun. There's also what's called a partial solar eclipse. This is when the moon only covers part of the sun. So basically what it sounds like, a partial eclipse. There's also what's called an annular eclipse. This is known as the ring of fire. Sometimes the moon appears smaller and doesn't completely cover the whole face of the sun. This leaves a ring on the outside of the moon that resembles a ring of fire. Finally, there's a rare hybrid eclipse. NASA says these occur when the eclipse shifts between an annular eclipse and total eclipse as the moon's shadow moves across Earth. This happens because of Earth's curvature. Now, let's hope for a nice clear day on April 8th so you can show off that eclipse education. Reporting from home, I'm meteorologist Ray Petlin.